All right, a pack of camels and some marbles. I uh, tried to put all the video clips from my half marathon today into one movie, but for some reason I have not found the way to be able to load that movie onto YouTube. So what I'm gonna have to do is tape that movie and then put it on. So I have one video camera pumping this footage and I'm gonna tape it again. Now, do you remember, Grandma, did, did Grandpa Bob smoke camels? Um, I thought for sure. Woodstuff, Woodstuff. Did he? I thought for sure he smoked they camels. Used to. They used to. And then he quit because they were so bad for him, right? Weren't yeah. camels like the worst cigarette yeah. in the world? Then he went to Woodstuff. Okay, because I do remember seeing camels as a very young boy. Yeah, because camels, they were, they were the rugged cigarette and about as rough as they can, right? The man's man cigarette. Well, Grandpa Bob was a man's man. All right, well, I'm going to go for a little run. Another half marathon. A little bit and take a look at that sidewalk chalk. See you. All right, I'll be back in a little bit, Grandma. All right, it is just a fabulously beautiful day again. It's a spring day. I'm thinking about running yet another half marathon today to see if I could do a little better than my hour and 43 minutes that I did yesterday. But uh, I'm going to warm up a little bit first by taking a stroll. Grandma and I just got done walking. But uh, as I was walking, I did indeed find a pack of cigarettes. <sighs> Marlboro's again. And it must be a Marlboro. that I find in my neighborhood are marbles. Now I gotta keep my eyes open for that sidewalk chop. And it's up here close to the corner. I just mailed a uh, care package with an ugly notebook and it to a little girl named Evie. And in that care package, I sent some $2 bills. And those $2 bills... Well, hey! ...meant to purchase sidewalk chalk. So I think it's kind of interesting that I found some on my walk today and my camera's dying. I can see the little red indicator blinking so I'm going to pick up the pace make this a little jog. Blair Witch Project. Now I think it's after the snow. I'm There's getting a lot seasick. Of houses for sale here. And a lot of areas of the sidewalk that haven't been shoveled. So, I'm going to probably do most of my running on the street today. All right, my camera died. And I took the batteries out and switched them around. And that's going to give me probably 10 or 15 more seconds of life. Because I think one battery is always stronger than the other. But I made it to the sidewalk chalk. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to get my legacy on the sidewalk. Alright, do something brave each and every day. And my camera is just on fumes. So I did get that done. I don't know if I should drop some money in this house. Because I imagine this chalk probably belongs to a child that lives in this house that was just sold. But uh, I made my mark on the earth once again today. It's a little one. And uh, I don't think my camera's going to live long to show it. But now I have. Just a quick note before my camera dies once again. Whew. I'm running again full steam. And the presence of Grandpa Bob is with me, full force. Uh, I've done a few miles so far, and I'm up to four cigarette packs. So that's four letters I'll write to the world. But one of them is a camel. So that means that Mr. Bill is going to be getting another orange letter in the mail soon. And as I'm running today, I'm thinking of Grandpa Bob, of course, and now I'll be thinking of Bill. But I'm also thinking of... A couple of other guys, two dads, uh, 
Miss Popsicle Paws' dad and my own dad. So I'm carrying a lot of people with me when I'm running today, so it's going to be challenging. Carrying four people on your back as you run 13 miles, not an easy thing. All right, lucky 13. The clock's still running. Well, ladies, I survived. I survived. Uh, about 13. All right. That was my mom. here with my muddy shoes, but I need my camera. And I also need a piece of sidewalk chalk. day outside. Now the question is which color to take with me. Looks like my choices are pink, pinku, blue, and green. I'll go with pink. Blue is cone red. and green is midori for those who speak Japanese. Now it's up for debate. If I make the world a better place or not with these cameras, I'm going to take this camera with me, put it in my pocket. But I've run my 13 miles. Now it's time for my cool down lap. I'm going to go take a cool down and then walk and stretch out a little bit. What's that? Do you have a pill? No, I have a banana. There's plenty of them now. Good news. Is on my 13 mile hike, I found yet another pack of camels. So my buddy, Mr. Bill, might get that sinking, stalking feeling. How's it going? 13 miles again. I did it about, oh, two minutes faster too. So all that work for two minutes. I love the post office, I'm not gonna lie. You want to see something growth? Now, a lot of people might say that I'm doing this stuff for fame, fortune, or maybe to appear sexy. I'm probably about the most unsexy human being in the universe right now. I see a lot of these uh, videos on YouTube where these guys are doing Muay Thai push-ups and Bruce Lee fitness drills and showing off their stuff with their shirts off for the ladies. I suppose I could do that, but I think a lot of people might need some therapy after I'm done. But here, let's stop here on the sidewalk, take a look. This is my headband. That is about as gross as it gets. How's it going, guys? Ran my half marathon. Thank you, thank you. Taking my victory lap. All right, I think I ran my last one in 1.43. So right now I'm kind of coasting. So I, I beat my whole time by a couple minutes, which is really good considering past Coach's Corner, there's another corner now that I'm going to call Coach's Revenge because there's some serious road construction. Either they're putting in a sewer something there so it definitely added at least I would say probably 30 or 40 yards to every lap two seasons in Wisconsin really winter and construction all right I walked here with my grandma today and we had to go on the street here because apparently I'm guessing this house is abandoned because the sidewalk is not shoveled now, if I was a super good Samaritan, I'd carry that honking steel shovel of mine all the way over here and shovel this sidewalk. And that'd be a brave thing to do. People would think I'm nuts. Let's see if this house is for sale right here. No problem. Well, I don't see a for sale sign. But anyway, shortly after this, this is where I left my mark on the world today. And hopefully
hopefully someone didn't come by with a big giant Diet Coke from uh, a quick trip and just dump it. Yep, it's still there. And there's a lot of cars here. And now I got a full pack of batteries, so do something brave each and every day. Now here's the chalk that I used up. And that's kind of like stealing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put, hey, maybe that's orange. I think that's an orange. Now that I look at it. Dai, dai, iro. That one to the kids because Century 21. Not a fan. So hopefully I make the world a better place by leaving that piece of chalk there for the kids that need to use it. And this raises a big question for me, and as I've only got a few seconds left on the camera. Is drawing with sidewalk chalk on the sidewalk illegal? I know that if I go around with spray paint, spray paint stuff, I'll probably get a ticket probably get a fine and probably get arrested but is it illegal for me to take sidewalk chalk and draw or write ideas anywhere I please that's a question I think I'm gonna have to find the answer to on another brave day oh, what a beautiful day hey that worked out pretty good and I don't know how well the audio will transition from that media to this one, but um, yeah, somehow, some some way, I will work out all the kinks in this videotape processing. But right now, I'm really glad that I have two of these cameras. It definitely does make my little pet project easier. And uh, I got two cameras, two packs of camels, and uh, what can I say? Do something brave each and every day. I have a lot to write about today. I'm excited.